Hi everyone, Knoopsy here, and today you've come across a very special video. A video which will show you the most ridiculous, crazy, and absolutely insane MacBook Pro setup you've ever seen. To celebrate the amazing new 16-inch MacBook Pro and all of its power, I want to take the laptop to its absolute limits with a setup. And that's exactly what happened. Today's video is brought to you by Clean My Mac X, an all-in-one piece of software that helps your Mac run just like it did on day one. Hit the link in the description to try it out for yourself. So we start out with the new 16-inch 2019 MacBook Pro that can be configured with some crazy, amazing specifications. Up to 8 terabytes of SSD storage and 64 gigabytes of RAM. The display is now 16 inches, absolutely stunning in person, high resolution, beautiful. The keyboard is wonderful to type on, and some other tweaks like better speakers, microphone quality, and other changes make this computer the ultimate MacBook we've always wanted. My MacBook has a yellow skin from our channel sponsor dbrand for a bit more of a pop and some customization, plus another reason I'll talk about in a minute. Link in the description to get one for yourself. So the MacBook Pro is amazing, but we can make it even better. So I got these three 15-inch touchscreen portable displays. They use USB-C for video and power and only require a single port for both those things. They're not the most beautiful or accurate displays ever, but for this, they're going to work out well. So I took these panels, bought these commercial industrial grade door hinges, and stuck them on with Gorilla Tape. I recommend the Extra Strength Gorilla Tape. You can also use Gorilla Glue for a more permanent solution, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend that. Then I stuck the hinges with more of this strong tape to the back of the computer's display, and the D-Burn skin prevents any sort of scratches or damage to your computer because these hinges are metal and they will likely scratch the aluminum of your computer. I let the hinges set for a bit and eventually they were locked in place and they stay locked in place. This tape is pretty f***ing strong. And when the system's all set up, you can technically fold it up and bring it around with you, but not perfectly and it is very heavy. The top display, which really makes this setup go absolutely crazy, needs a bit more support. So I got a metal ruler, covered it in a skin, added these velcro command strips, and the ruler just clips on and adds some extra support to the top panel so it doesn't just flop around all over the place. Now all these displays start becoming very useful when you think about them in terms of productivity. When editing videos, you can have the main display for your timeline, top display for a full screen preview, and side displays for whatever you want. At this point you've realized this setup is absolutely ridiculous, so let's keep going. The MacBook now has a single port left thanks to the three displays plugged in. So I got this USB-C hub from a brand called 12 South called the Stego. It has every port you could ever want, plus an integrated USB-C cable for easily plugging it in. This enables me to add more SSD storage to the MacBook Pro on top of the already insane amount of storage inside, so I have this 1TB T5 Samsung SSD, so the storage is right there, ready to be plugged in. Now the MacBook Pro's trackpad is excellent for daily use, but I want to actually have a mouse part of this setup as well. So I picked up the Logitech MX Master 3. Every time Logitech puts out a new MX Master mouse, it's always my favorite. And this year, it's no exception. It has the most incredible ergonomic hand feel, custom buttons for days, it works on any surface, and it's incredibly precise. It's really an amazing mouse. The final thing I've added to this laptop setup is a set of these adhesive PC tower feet. These feet elevate the MacBook Pro slightly off your table for better airflow at the bottom, as well as prevents the annoying sliding around on surfaces that tends to happen with the original feet on the bottom. Plus, they won't wear down as easily as well. So, I can already see the comments, and I know this setup is crazy. Crazy idiotic, or crazy smart. It's your decision. And yes, the setup is very impractical as well, but this is what happens when you push a portable setup to the absolute limits. It's also amazing that all of this is powered by the laptop itself and USB-C, which is incredibly versatile. 
So while this setup is kinda incredibly stupid, it's also stupid cool as well. This video was brought to you by Clean My Mac X. If you want your Mac to run just like how it did on day one and keep it safe and secure, you gotta check out this software. Clean My Mac X helps you delete old files and system junk you just don't need, find hidden apps and folders, helps you manage and boost your computer's performance, as well as destroy any malware or sketchy spyware that may be hiding on your computer without your knowledge. And Clean My Mac X is notarized by Apple, meaning it guarantees that the app is safe and secure from any malicious elements. To try out the free demo for yourself, hit the first link in the description down below and take your Mac to the next level. Do you think when Steve Jobs was working on the original Macintosh computer, do you think he ever thought we'd end up in this crazy timeline where a YouTuber is sticking on three touchscreen USB-C displays to the sides and top of a 16-inch MacBook Pro laptop with 8 terabytes of SSD storage and 64 gigabytes of RAM? Do you think he ever thought we'd end up here? And I almost don't want to hear what you think of this setup in the comments, but please tell me anyways. Is this the absolute stupidest setup you've ever seen in your life, or is it actually kind of cool? Let me know, and thank you for watching.